Hi, uh, everyone. My name is Xinyuan. I'm the uh, final year PhD student from Queen Mary University of London, supervised by Professor Andrea Cavallaro. So today we are going to introduce our recent work on speaker localization and tracking using uh, multimodal signals. So our objective is to track uh, multiple uh, concurrent speakers in the 3D world coordinates using a small size and co-located audio sensing platform. And all, all motivations can be divided into two parts. One is uh, there are many real-world applications in such as uh, the video surveillance and driver assistance. For example, um, the Amotech OLED, which is a smart home application to assist human uh, daily life. And we want to use the complementarity advantages of different um, modalities to dealing with the rapid changing environment and to get an improved tracking performance in the 3D world coordinates. And there are many challenges in this research topic. For example, uh, apart from the traditional problems like the room vibration, uh, the background noise, and the target occluded by the other objects or the various body orientations uh, towards different microphones and cameras. We also have inaccurate depth estimation in neither from a single microphone array or from a single standard RGB camera from a collocated audio sensing platform. And for the multimodal fusion tab, uh, we have three key points to be considered. One is what, can, uh, what kind of features to be considered and why we need to fuse them and finally how to fuse them. So here is a slide to summarize the state of the artwork in uh, multiple object tracking in the 3D world coordinates. There is the increasing popularity for audio-visual multi-object uh, multi tracking in the 3D world coordinates. And for the tracking approaches, they can be divided into the Kármán filter, uh, the particle filter, and so on. For the acoustic processing, we can rely on the time delay based method or we can rely on the steered response power based method. For the viral processing pipeline, we can use either the color information such as uh, the histogram comparison or we can use some object detection pipelines like the face detection, the body uh, detection or the upper body detection. Or we can use uh, the motion info information to infer where the object is on the image plan. For the limitations of the state of the art method um, can be divided into three parts. One is for most uh, multi-object tracking in 3D, they're using distributed sensing platforms. Because with a distributed sensing platform, such as a uh, distributed camera network, which can be installed on the room corners, uh, they can get more special information of the target from different camera views. In this case, they can have some um, different appearance model from different camera uh, from different camera views. Uh, the second limitation is uh, for small size multimodal sensing platform. Most of the work they are only working uh, on the image plan. And finally, as already stated by uh, the previous speakers, uh, the lack of public available data set is hindering the research development in this field. So to tackle uh, the multi-concurrent speakers tracking in the 3D world coordinates, we propose a novel method, which uh, the general block diagram can be uh, is, is illustrated in this slide. First, we have the image input, and we apply a normal, uh, a normal uh, face detection algorithm to detect where the face is on image plan. And from the face detection, we geometrically extract the mouse information and we use the camera calibration information to project the mouse information on the image plan to the 3D. And in this case, we have a 3D video estimate. Once we have the 3D video estimate, we do the data association to associate the 3D uh, video estimate to each speaker. And we have, uh, and later we build uh, the visual likelihood model on the 3D video estimate. We also use the 3D video estimate to suggest the most likely speaker height plan to uh, compute the acoustic map to lo look like different speakers in the 3D world coordinates. And finally, we feed uh, the video 3D estimate and the audio estimate into the particle filtering framework to get our target uh, 3D location estimate. 
So for our work, the novelties, they are mainly included uh, in the two blocks. One is the visual likelihood computation, and the other is uh, the visual assisted uh, acoustic map computation. So for the video likelihood, we use a selective um, visual likelihood model, which is either based on the discriminative model or based on the generative model. For the di discriminative, uh, discriminative model, uh, we, build, uh, we are building a multivariant Gaussian error distribution on the 3D video estimate uh, in the camera's individual spherical coordinates. So in this case, we are taking consideration of the uncertainties in the image to 3D projection. So if you look at the error histogram in the camera's individual spherical coordinates, this is the admiral's error, this is elevation error, and this is the radius error. You can see uh, they are following a Gaussian distribution in individual coordinates. In this case, we can distinguish the error distributions in um, the azimuth, elevation, and radiance from uh, the camera's local coordinates. Once we don't have the uh, phase detection, we go to the generative model, which is a reverse way of the discriminative model. So when we have a particle, we have the 3D hypo hypothesis, and we create a bonding box in 3D, and we project them onto the image plan. So we have the um, image plan bonding box hypothesis, and we mirror the similarity between the face reference image and the hypothesis. So here we also evaluate different visual features in different color spaces, uh, such as the histogram and the spatialgram in RGB color space and in HSV color space. Well, if you look at the color map here, um, the blue means with lower probability of including the target. Well, target is a uh, we are, the target here is human face, and the yellow means with higher probability. And with this mirror like uh, likelihood map, we can see uh, if we use the spatial gram in HSV uh, color space, we can get the most uh, distinguishable similarity mirror between the background and the target. So for the audio likelihood, because we have a small size uh, circular microphone array, uh, the speaker to array distance um, is much longer than the in inter microphone distance. In this case, with such a small size microphone array, we are not able to get very accurate 3D audio estimate. In this case, we um, propose a novel method which using the 3D video estimate to suggest the most likely speaker height plan to localize the target. Um, here is uh, the acoustic map where we fix the azimuth and we fix the elevation and we fix the radiance. Uh, similar to the previous one, if you see uh, the yellow uh, the yellow region means with higher probability of including the sound source, where the blue region means with low probability. And how could you understand these figures? It's like if you see more yellow region, which means there are more uncertainties of uh, the localization result. So if you uh, compare these three figures, you can say if we know the radius, if we know the speaker array distance, or if we know the speaker height, um, which result in the bottom right figure, we can have the minimum uh, uncertainties in the localization. Yeah, that's the idea of why we need to use the video to suggest the most likely speaker height plan to do the localization. Yeah, that's the idea of the video assisted acoustic map. So here I generally talk about the uh, video likelihood modeling and the audio likelihood modeling. And for the exper experiment, we test our algorithm on two different data sets. One is called AV16.3, which is a public one. Um, it is included an eight element circular microphone array with 20 centimeter diameter about this size. And it has a standard RGB camera. For the ground truth, it has uh, the sensor calibration information. It has a target 3D location information. And because we want to use collocated audio-visual sensing platform, small size collocated audio-visual sensing platform, so we collect our own data set called uh, CAF3D. Uh, it meets all the requirements of the previous, the AV16.3 data set, um, but we are extending it to a collocated sensing platform. So for the next few slides, I'm going to introduce the CAF3D data set. 
uh, where it includes uh, the calibrated sensors, the calibrated microphone arrays, the cal calibrated camera network. Uh, all the audio and video signals, they are manually synchronized. And for the 3D and for the ground truth, we have the image plan ground truth, the 3D ground truth, and we have the speaker voice activity ground truth. Um, this data set can be divided into three subsets, uh, with the duration of each recording varies from 15 seconds to uh, 80 seconds. Uh, the first one is the sort subset, which includes one speaker. The second one is uh, sort two, where there are two speakers moving in the indoor environment, but only one uh, target is talking. Uh, and the mod subset, where we have three concurrent speakers who are speaking simultaneously. So here is the recording environment um, to record this in, in, to record this data set and to monitor the environment to get the 3D target location ground truth. We use a distributed uh, camera network, which consists of uh, four corner cameras. And this picture was taken from uh, the view of camera one. Yeah. <coughs> and this is our audio sensing platform. And we have one uh, standard RGB camera mounted on top of a circular microphone array. And this kind of audio sensing platform is put on uh, in the table in the middle of the room. And the camera's field view is limited, uh, which is surrounded by the red dashed line. And the origin of the 3D world coordinate, we uh, put them in the room corner. So here is our tracking result of the proposed method on our self-collected data set. So here is the image plan, and here is um, the particle propagation, the, uh, the audio particle weight, uh, the video particle weight, and the audio video particle weight. And here is uh, the likelihood map, the audio map, video map, and the audio video map. And here is error in individual x, y, and z coordinates where red is our um, target speaker trajectory and green is the ground truth. So if we play the video, you can see first uh, the speaker is uh, moving in front of the camera and now he is going to the back of the camera and in this case we use audio to follow the target in the 3D space and he is continuously moving and, and finally he is going back to the camera's field view. And here is another demo of uh, three multiple concurrent speakers where there is a varying number of uh, targets on the image plan. Mm -hmm. Sorry. If we play it. So speakers, they are moving in and moving out the camera's field view. So you can see the uh, particle propagation and the acoustic map and very likelihood map propagation. And we made the comparison with uh, the state of the art method on image plan and in 3D. And from the result, we can see the um, improved performance both on image plan and in 3D. So here are the references. And thank you for your listening. Yeah. Is there any questions?